Hi guys, so let's have a look at how to apply a stroke around an entire design in Affinity Designer. And this is an iPad tutorial. Works equally well on the desktop of course, just the controls are in a slightly different place. So let's get right to it. To begin, create a new image base. This is for this exercise. 768 points by 1024 points. Transparent and portrait mode. Now you'll find this in the presets under device and the iPad mini retina size. Now I've made it portrait orientation and a transparent background. Just because I can. So this is our 768 by 1024 pixel transparent workspace. The same size I mentioned as my iPad mini, which is what I'm doing this on. Now let's add our multiple shapes. Really simple, huh? All I've done there is I've got four layers with um, a blue rectangle, a yellow triangle, green ellipse and a red arrow. Very nice little stack of objects. But I only want to draw a line around the outside of them, not each one individually, but the whole stack. And here's how you do it. Now we want to put a stroke or cut line, if you're a crafter, all the way around the shapes. Not individually, but the whole lot combined. Begin by selecting all the layers, and you can see them there, all nicely selected. After selecting all the layers, go to the editor and select Duplicate. What? This is going to duplicate all those layers, and there they are. Your layers will now look like this. Each layer duplicated with the originals still selected and the duplicates not. Very handy that it does that, very useful. Next, again, go to the editor tool and look at the geometry section. And with all those layers still selected, tap add. What does that do? Adds them all together. Your selected layers will now be added together into one overall shape. Just how we want it. Hmm, well we're getting there. No outline yet. Next, drag that new created layer to the bottom of the stack, so it's hidden. Here we go. Now for the magic. With the layer selected, select the Stroke Studio. Select the Stroke Type, second from the left. You can see the blue box around it. And set the Stroke Width to 20 points, for example. That makes it really easy to see. You can now see that the stroke around the whole set of shapes is quite visible. And if you look at that carefully, you'll see it's around the whole shapes, not the individuals. Change the stroke colour by going to the Colour Studio and selecting the Stroke Colour tool and selecting the desired colour. So I've changed it to pink. So you select the donut and change the colour to pink. Any colour you like, actually. I just happen to like pink. So now, maybe you just want the outline. Select all the layers and change the fill to no fill. And there's your outline. Now you have a really useful mask. What can we do with that? Select the four original layers and convert them to curves. I do that just out of habit because if I don't use a mask in this, in other words, if I don't put any pixel layers in it, I've got a pure um, stroke file which I can then export as an SVG. Very useful. Means you can make it any size you like. So I just do it out of habit. Next, merge the four original layers using Merge Curves in the Editor Studio. Another reason for making them curves. You can merge them all together, put some there and kind of get them out of the way a little bit. This leaves your stroke outline still as the bottom layer and you can see the little blue outline just below the selected layers still there next go to the stock studio and select a pattern now i selected leaves drag it onto the um, canvas and it'll sit there as the top layer now we've got to move that because you can't see your outline now select the leaves layer and drag it halfway into the lower layer which will act as a mask. And there it is. Hmm, doesn't look too nice with that blue outline around all the coloured leaves, so let's revisit the stroke border. Change its colour by using the colour selector tool 
to select one of the leaves. Then reduce its width to say 10 points so it's not overwhelming. Much nicer. Now you have a, a nice little shape with um, a coloured background in it. Once you've done that, drag out a white rectangle. It'll sit on the top. Convert it to a curve. Ta-da! And drag it right to the bottom of the stack. You now have a new diagram on a white background, if you like. And you can see in the layers there, before we finish, that I collapsed that group so that the white rectangle sits below the group. If you don't collapse the group, you might find it sitting in the group and it obviously doesn't work. So collapse the group with the leaves in it and put your white layer below it. And that's that. Thanks for watching. I hope you've gained some ideas and insights for creating your own work in Affinity Designer. Please share the video with friends if you like the idea. I'm sure they'll appreciate it.